Hi, I'm Kay, uh, and I played on From the Top when I was at Interlochen in high school. He was amazing. I mean, one of the, the first things I remember about him was this incredibly nuanced saxophone performance, which was really, really beautiful. But there were a couple surprises. Number one, he wore a kimono, which I don't think that's been done before or since on our show. And the other thing is that everything the guy said was funny. As a trained cook, uh, I was just going to ask you if you find the cuisine here at Interlochen. How much time do I have to talk about this? Oh. So when it came time to pick kids to be part of our 10th anniversary celebration and to come back on as alumni, uh, Kay came up because, not only because we loved his first performance, but also because he had taken a really interesting new direction with music. Um, I decided that I wanted to go into conducting because I was dating this girlfriend, and her mom, who's a concert pianist, wasn't too happy that I was a classical saxophonist. She just didn't think that I would have a career in doing what I was doing. So she said, why don't I just do take, pick up conducting? And I was like, all right, fair enough. And so, that's when I realized that as an undergraduate, um, go, incoming undergraduate, there's just no route or there's no degree for conducting. How do you become a conductor is maybe one of the toughest questions in all of classical music. Uh, everybody you know, knows how you become a doctor. Conducting is in many ways a, a very old-fashioned profession. It involves a lot of the apprentice to journeyman to tradesman to master sort of sort of thing and there is at least in this country and arguably anywhere no really clear ladder and if there is a ladder it involves a lot of jumping off onto different ladders in, in different directions. So once I decided that I wanted to go into conducting the first thing I did was um, taking a class um, during the summer camp actually and I took a class and it, they walked you through the movements, how to analyze a score, you know what to listen for, um, and we had about 20, 20 or 24 of us in that class. Then the end of the summer, all of us had an opportunity to audition um, to conduct the interlocking theme at the last um, concert at the summer camp, and, and I won. That was the first time ever conducting a large ensemble in front of a huge crowd. And, you know, you really can't describe that sensation. And it's just, I was goosebumpy the whole time. And while I was conducting, I was getting all teary. And I knew this is what I needed to do. basically searched every conservatory, every major university, talked, emailing the teachers saying, hey, I got video materials, can, I'm sending it to you, do you think I could study? And they were like, no, 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 you're too young, you got to do it during graduate school. I will say that one of the things that becoming successful in the conducting profession uh, involves is a lot of um, self-starting, a lot of imagination. Uh, one has to create opportunities for oneself because the, uh, the eternal irony of learning to conduct is that nobody will give you the experience necessary to learn to conduct until you have learned to conduct. The first assignment that I got was youth orchestra. They said, hey Kay, you got to do it. You're going to be the youth orchestra conductor. I was like, all right. I, was, I said, who's interested? And I got a list which had one name. And I said, okay, youth orchestra, all right, <laughs> here we come. Um, I had a prodigy violinist who was a little, really young to a senior flute gal who could barely play, you know, a scale. But I took everyone. I needed the body. It's an orchestra. I can't have an orchestra with two people or one person. I was so motivated because I had a group in front of me and this was my opportunity to practice. You know, a pianist has a piano to practice. I need an orchestra to practice. I wish I were 26 again, uh, the same age as Kay. Um, it's, it's always great to be able to, to if, if, providing I could bring the knowledge back, but of course we know that that can't really happen. I would say, um, 
doing, being a self-starter, uh, creating your own orchestral opportunities, those sorts of things is absolutely key. Um, finding, never stop learning. Find mentors from whom you can learn and continue to get them to teach you. The best fit for me is somewhere I could work with a youth orchestra. I think it's something very important for me so I could influence younger generation. I could continue to influence young, young kids to continue music in college.